Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our show. We're so happy you decided to hang out with us on tonight's show. We'll be chatting with Martin Freeman. Later, we've got a performance from Rag and Bone Man. You don't want to miss that. Uh, you're more of a bone and rag man, right? <laughs> yeah, bone and rag is a little bit more my tempo, and rag and bone came along, I was like, eh, well, let's see. Yeah. Do you... <laughs> Do you Americans, do you have rag and bone men? Do you know what a rag and bone man the is? clothes? Sorry, what? I thought you were talking about rag and bone clothes. Yeah, there's no, a clothing. No, not the shop, rag and bone. Look, we've just... Don't start Nick freaking out now as we mention another clothing brand. No, a rag and bone man, <laughs> we know, Louis, we're... You used to have a rag and bone man. There was a guy who was like, literally with a horse and cart, and he'd come down our street like once every few weeks, and you could leave out old sort of scrap metal. And yes. Pick it up. I mean, it's very London. And he'd take it away. So it anything, away. any yeah. household Sick. items, iron, any old iron, any 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 old iron, you'd put out. You know, yes, exactly. Just stuff, stuff that you'd normally keep in the in the garage. You'd leave it out for the rag and bone man. Did you know that, Ian? No. So you would never put a fine quality piece of rag and bone clothing out for a rag and bone man. No. <laughs> Nick, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Are you? I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. <laughs> but that's... Like, yeah. I bite like an Avery... No, what, stop. What? But that is what a rag and bone man is. That's what a rag and bone man... Yeah. Uh. Yeah. And then the singer, who's on tonight, whose real name's Rory, chose to be the rag and bone man. That's so cool. So yeah. that's, that's, like, mostly how he makes his money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's moonlighting... I don't think he's moonlighting as an international pop star as a side hustle on his regular rag and bone. What's this mug? Where's this come from? Where's the one? You mean this one? arrived now with a... No, this. You've arrived with a, a flagon. Yes. That's what I'd call a flagon of, fine, of ale. This is from a, a real person who made it from Tennessee. And oh, what, and they've sent it to you? Yeah. John the Potter from Tennessee. John the Potter? Yeah. I love that. Yeah, and he called... I, yeah. I love anyone whose name is what they do. John the Potter. Yeah. So he just gets to I drop love... big name brands on the show and it's fine? <laughs> <laughs> Look for it in stores. <laughs> John the Potter. Yeah. I'd like a mug from John, John the, the Potter. Potter. Yeah. Well, we all would, but we're not going to get one. It's just Reggie. <laughs> this, is, this is the way the show is now. Now we've opened it up. <laughs> we've opened it up. Pete gets shirts. Reggie gets mugs. What am I, chop liver? We could probably work out a chopped liver sponsorship for you. <laughs> we are we are right on Fairfax. Do you get any do you get any uh, do you get any love from Lululemon this past 24 hours? Not a, not a word. Nothing. Ah, uh, nothing. Zero. I they were mentioned. I tagged them. I wow. commented on the tag. Ben commented on the tag. Nothing. Zero. Zero. Hardcore. Hardcore. Really standing their ground, aren't they? Yeah. I might have to make the switch. Gap body, I'm here. <laughs> Sweaty Betty, I'm in. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. whatever. Um, any news, Nick? Uh, on on which which thing? We've talked about so many products today. <laughs> no, not this. You know what we're talking about. We're... <laughs> any news? Uh, things are in. There's a lot of calls that are happening very soon. Uh, and then one, one cruise tweeted at me in a fairly bullying fashion, but I'm not going to mention who they were. What did they say? They, they, they're really, they're trying to get everybody's attention and I'm, I'm not, I'm not engaging. You're not playing that game. I'm not engaging. I got another email from Sir Richard Branson this morning. <laughs> yes. Another email said, love the show. Said, love the show last night. I'm imagining you haven't heard from Bartholomew Carnival. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Yeah. True story. <laughs> haven't heard from Bartholomew Carnival. Uh, you, there's, only one, there's only one ship you should be sailing on. And, and do I need to remind you that Virgin Cruises are adults only. Oh. And, I thought, and, then he put, and I thought you guys were the late, late show. Wow. I think that's the one we got to go for. Wow. I think we got to go for it. Provided that boat is somewhere hot and luscious. 100%. Rob, when I told Rob the email, he went, oh, how am I going to get the kids on? Like, no one's bringing their kids, Rob. 
We'll be lucky if we do the shows. I'll be so drunk. <laughs> so can we lock this virgin thing down, Nick? Because I don't want to keep talking about this every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't either. Do you... Uh... <laughs> I think we let the I think we let the cruise ship companies know that the most important ship is a relationship, and there's a good way to start one. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely right, absolutely right. I mean, how many? But how many of us? How many of us would be going, Rob? On the boat? I think we try and get as many people on as possible. But so how many people work on the show? 125. 125. That's all we need. That's all we need, Nick. We need 124 rooms and one presidential suite. <laughs> Well, it's that time. It's time to jump into the news. Well, last night, we told you about the hackers who shut down a major pipeline days ago. Well, gas shortages are already hitting the East Coast from Virginia to Florida. Many gas stations are completely out of gasoline, and at others, customers have waited in line for more than an hour. Look at that. We haven't lined up to panic buy anything in ages, have we? So this is fun. Imagine finally getting to the pump after waiting for hours in that line and then being like, ah, oh, but my gas tank's on the other side. Can everyone back up? <laughs> Can you... I need to... No, you stay there, you pull forward, and then I'll... <laughs> gas shortages and long lines at the pump. But Ben Affleck and J-Lo are back together, so we can't have it all, everybody. <laughs> what? Can you believe this Ben what? Affleck J-Lo story? No. Did you not know this? Did you not know this? Ben Benifer, back on. Uh, yeah, whoa. they went to yeah. Montana. What? Yeah. This is right, right, Lauren? On a private jet. Yeah. They were photographed. Ben Affleck and J-Lo, back on the back Did on they the cars. ever break up? Wow, that's the question. Uh. Don't, don't, don't tell A-Rod that, but, yeah. <laughs> um, in other news, in New York City, American tourists can now get vaccinated in Times Square, the new mobile vaccination centres are an effort to boost both tourism as well as overall vaccine numbers. Because I can't think of a better place to experience the side effects of the vaccine than the bathroom of the Times Square Olive Garden. <laughs> and this is nice for an authentic New York experience. The person administering the vaccine will even yell, hey, I'm boosting tourism and overall vaccination numbers here. <laughs> Coming on, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'm basically a New Yorker now. It's a per it's a perfect accent. Yes, yeah. you and Wi <laughs> it's you and Winslet and the mayor of East Town, and that's neck and that's neck it. right now. <laughs> I'm boosting a vaccine. Here. Are you in Guys and Dolls? Is that what's is that what's going on? I'm not in Guys and Dolls. I'm in New York. <laughs> oh my <laughs> larf! <laughs> I'm in New York, you <laughs> schmuck. <laughs> Coming in here with your drums. I'm the schmuck, huh? Yeah, that's right, you're a schmuck. You got a problem about it, I can't talk about it, because I'm boosting a vaccination you're here. Work, you're working over here. I'm working here. <laughs> you sound like you're from Staten Island or something. Sure, Joey, whatever you say. <laughs> hey, listen to Guillermo Boom Boom. <laughs> You know Guillermo boom boom me boom on the drums. He thinks I'm from Staten Island. I said, you think I'm from Staten Island? You got another thing coming because I'm boosting back to the journey. <laughs> Your New York accent is perfect. I don't know why Officer Krupke over here is giving you a hard time. <laughs> Absolutely right. Thanks, Ian. I appreciate it. <laughs> now let's go get a sandwich. <laughs> it's this hot. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's not that bad. You know, you just walk around and you do all these, like, kind of weird mouth shapes. That's like you got all it is. There. You're like the little guy in Sex in the City, the one that Miranda ended up with. <laughs> That's the way I do it, Miranda. Come on, Miranda. I cheated on you one time. <laughs> sure, I don't even know what the problem is. You carry so your mystery. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> you know the one I mean, though, eh? Yeah. Yeah. The little one with the glasses. Steve. Little Steve, you got it. Uh... Stevie boy. Uh, <laughs> and we wanted to tell you about this. A man in Florida was arrested after robbing a bank and, get this, using a taxi as his getaway car. The man arrived in the cab, went into the bank, stole $8,000, then got back into the cab and had the taxi driver take him home. 
Which makes me a little sad that he had no one in his life close enough to commit a major felony with him. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Think about it though, for like three minutes, this guy was at home with $8,000, like, I did it! <laughs> I got away with it! Hang on, there's someone at the door. What? <laughs> <laughs> And we wanted to show you this. A marriage proposal has gone viral, getting more than 15 million views on TikTok because the engagement ring was hidden inside a KFC biscuit. Take a look. <laughs> what is this? Are you marrying me? Are you kidding? Is this... Are you kidding? <laughs> I mean, we, we didn't hear her say yes. <laughs> ring or no ring, that's the normal level of biscuit enthusiasm, right? That's it. Can you imagine her explaining this to her friends and family? And I'm like, so how did he propose? Like, well, he had a coupon for a 10-piece bucket. <laughs> and he smashed the ring right in the centre of the biscuit, and now I'm saying it out loud, it does sound a bit weird. <laughs> Which fast food restaurant are you going to involve in your proposal? I would, I would never cheapen it with a fast, fast food restaurant. No. I'd take it to Applebee's. Absolutely. Yeah. Classy. <laughs> Classy guy. Yeah. Classy. That's the thing. Yeah. You know, biscuits, they're not a thing in Britain. We don't have them. Really? Yeah. I'll see you later. <laughs> and finally, did everybody see this? Amazon founder Jeff Bezos is making headlines because he just purchased a $500 million super yacht. Apparently, the yacht is so big, it has its own support yacht with a helipad. It sounds like an old-time comedian's routine, doesn't it? Jeff Bezos is so rich, even his boats have got boats. <laughs> Bezos is so rich, when he goes to the ADM, the ADM asks him for money. <laughs> the truth is, Bezos didn't really need the support yacht, but Amazon did one of those upsells where they were like, people who buy this, also buy this. <laughs> in a related story, in a related story, guys, big news. Guess who's doing a week of shows from Jeff Bezos' Super Yacht, baby! <laughs>